Over the past few months that iPad OS has been out, I've been experimenting with Siri shortcuts a little too much, and I've gone back and forth with various kinds of shortcuts. Some of them are definitely gimmicks, but I've found some that actually make my life easier. So the first few shortcuts are pretty simple and very useful if you ask me. The lowest brightness on my iPad Air is a little too bright for me, especially when I'm in bed, and I'm almost sure that I'm not the only one who feels that way. But to remedy that, iOS has an option called Reduce White Point, which essentially reduces the brightness lower than the lowest brightness available otherwise. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's get back to this shortcut. So the first thing the shortcut does is reduces the brightness to 0% and then it turns on the reduce white point setting. You can actually configure the reduce white point setting in accessibility settings. I mean, depending on how dark you want your iPad to be. The shortcut also turns on the dark mode just in case I turned it on for some reason during the day. And lastly, it turns on do not disturb mode. So I'm not bombarded by a ton of notifications for no reason in the middle of the night. The shortcut actually goes hand in hand with my other shortcut called out of bed, which is only meant to undo whatever the previous shortcut did, which means it disables the reduced white point setting and then increases the brightness to 10%, which is like a good happy medium right early in the morning. And then it turns off do not disturb mode. Next on the list is my morning routine shortcut. My morning routine shortcut is a mix of multiple shortcuts and its own and some of its own tasks. It starts by running my birthday today shortcut, which is a simple shortcut I made to check if there are any birthdays on the current date. And if it finds someone, it sends them a happy birthday message from my side. If you want to know more about this, I'll have a video dedicated to this shortcut and I will link it right here. Since this is a morning routine shortcut, it has to start by saying good morning, right? And then it checks my calendar for any events for the day. If there are any events, it's going to announce them to me and then move on to check the weather. And then it announces the weather to me and then goes on to ask me if I want to make tea or coffee. If I choose coffee, it starts my coffee assistant shortcut, which is a simple shortcut that guides me through the process of making coffee. If you like making coffee and you want something that's a digital assistant that walks you through the process of making coffee, this might be something you want to check out. I will leave a link to that right over here. Coming back to my morning routine shortcut. It simply moves on to start a meditation timer. The meditation timer is also an interesting shortcut that I built for myself. It has a list of about eight videos for guided meditations and it pulls one of them randomly and starts a meditation timer for me of sorts. Right before the video starts, it makes a note of the day and the time so I can keep a meditation journal of sorts. The next shortcut I have is called meeting notes. This is a shortcut that's inspired from the meeting notes feature on Microsoft Outlook and OneNote. So all Office 365 users can actually click a meeting notes button on their calendar invite that creates a new note in Microsoft OneNote that has all the meeting details already populated and ready for them to take notes. I wanted to use something like this, especially after I got a keyboard with my iPad. So I created this shortcut. So what it basically does, it goes through your calendar and checks if you had a meeting invite within the past 15 minutes or you will be having one within the next 15 minutes. So you can start this right before the meeting or a little bit after the meeting. And then it's going to take all the calendar details, put it in a note, and then it's going to open that note for you so you can start taking notes, whether you want to take notes with your pencil or you want to take notes with a keyboard. And if it happens to not find a calendar event, you can choose to manually enter calendar details, in which case it's going to open a note with prompts for calendar details to be entered. Now let's talk about two shortcuts that are pretty simple. I downloaded them from the gallery, but I think everybody should have them. That's why I'm going to showcase them here. So this one's called read body. It is primarily meant to be used in the share sheet. So you share an article or a web page with the shortcut. It's going to go find the URL, extract the body from the URL and starts to speak the body of the URL out loud. It's perfect for reading extremely long articles, especially if you're someone like me who reads slow and hates reading at the same time. Getty images banning staff from accessing their work emails outside office hours. Could do time. And the last one that I have over here is called a make PDF shortcut. It's simple and it does what it says. It takes all forms of input. You can put in pictures, you can put in web pages, and you can even put word documents to convert into PDF. And it shows you the PDF document that you can edit. You can just share them using email. Anyways, that's all I have for you today, guys. I will leave a link to these shortcuts in the description below if you want to go check it out. While you're going down there, can you please hit the like button and subscribe button? Anyways, thank you for watching. This is Geek.